in these problems, we're dealing with exponents, and sometimes we're dealing with taking an exponent and raising it to another exponent. Let's look at this first one. We have this expression 4 times p squared, and they want us to write it without exponents. Well, this is 4 times p multiplied by itself two times. This 2 exponent means multiply p by itself two times. So I could write it like this, 4 times p times p. That would be a, a way to write that without exponents. And in the, in the second part, they just want us to put it back together, basically. Um, the number outside this coefficient here is going to be 4. And the power that we have for p, p is multiplied by itself two times, that's going to be 2. So that's just 4p squared. Let's try that same set of steps with something a little more complicated. Here we have n to the second to the fourth. So let's think about what that means. Um, when you take something to the fourth power, you multiply by itself four times. So that would be n squared, which is what's inside the parentheses, multiplied by itself four times. But each one of these n squared is n multiplied by itself two times. So that would be n times n for this one, times n times n for this one, times n times n, times n times n. And we end up with eight n's. And that is how to write that expression without exponents. n times 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 n. Did I get eight, eight there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks good. Now they want us to write this with just one n and an exponent, just one exponent. Well, we've got eight n's here. So this is just n to the eighth. And this shows us another rule. When you raise a power to another power, you multiply the exponent. So this is 2 times 4. If this had been n to the third to the fifth power, you'd multiply those two exponents, and you'd get n to the 15th. And if you're not sure about that, you could try doing this again. Multiply n to the third by itself five times, and then break those n to the thirds down into n times itself three times, and you'd see there are 15 n's. So to raise a power to another power, multiply the exponents.